trying to hear short presentation. I will speak in words. We are so I'll be talking about climate change by sea cycles and uh, impact on water resources and energy in Himalayas. Oh, so when we hear about climate change, when we generate So when we talk about climate change, we generally hear people speaking about climate change and the next time they are talking about pollution, environmental degradation and so on. But pollution and technology are man-made phenomena whereas climate change is a natural cyclic process. That is what I am going to present in my finance. So, I start my presentation with this uh, climate wave which has been coined by the old world, change the old world. God give me the courage to change the things I can. Pollution and technology, these are man made things. Except the things I cannot change, climate, serenity and wisdom to know the difference. We should not be mixing between the two. That is the biggest fault which we are doing now. Next one. Our present research is based on uh, uh, various global data which we have gathered while drilling uh, and exploring all the water holes for Indian Army civil population in the Himalayas for the last 20 years. Next one. Uh, we discovered these uh, paleoclimatic signatures, this one, 
This is the this is global cooling. Then this is warming. This is cooling. This is warming. This is cooling. This is warming. These are all very well embedded in the rocks. So for the first time, you were able to document the cyclicity of warming and cooling. You know. Next one. And uh, since these uh, cycles represent uh, the see, these cycles represent alphabet C, I call it C cycle. And uh, since I discovered it, so it's R S C cycle. Next one. So now we see that climate change follows not a not a linear curve, but it is a continuous curve. Ice age, it is like ice age, continuously transforming into warming, warming phase, warming maxima, warming maxima again terminating into ice age. Next one. So we discovered about ten such cycles, eight complete and two half cycles. The last ice age. Uh, according to international uh, standard reference, we have taken this to be 11,000 750 years from today, uh, based on the uh, the research carried on the ice uh, Greenland. Next one. So each climate cycle, according to our mathematical calculations, come out to be 1,338.6 years. So like, uh, uh, okay. Uh, so like we have 24. One day is for 24 hours. One uh, year is for 365 days. Similarly, ice age and warming and cooling is for uh, 133.6 years. And half cycle is for 669.3 years. So I'm just saying. So this is like sea cycle, you know. Ice age, cooling maximum, warming, warming maximum. Here we, in this region, we will have maximum cyclones, maximum flooding, and then these will. Uh, uh, Diminish as, as we move further. We are presently in a this is this is a complete cycle, but we are presently in a half sea cycle. So we are we are here and gradually we will be transforming here. Next one. The, now uh, we just uh, show the certain some circumstantial evidences. Uh, this the frozen things river 1677. That uh, many years ago. This was also coinciding with the cycle. Next one. This is lake floods of 2010 again coinciding with the global warming maxima. So. Uh, I was stuck here. Stuck up here. Uh, this was 2010. I, I, I live here in Chablamsar. About two, uh, 270 people died in a family.